Hi guys and welcome back to Devote to Disney Down Under. Now, I know it's been some time since we did a video. We've been flat out busy, we've been planning a family holiday, so unfortunately there won't be as many videos coming for the next few, uh, let's say month and a bit, as we are taking the children um, on a holiday to sunny, Surface Paradise in Queensland to all the theme parks. So we'll be doing Movie World, Sea World, Dream World, Wet and Wild. Um, also just taking in the lovely beaches and the scenery and they've got Starbucks and stuff there that we don't have here in Perth. So that will be a load of fun. So we're not buying as much stuff to add to our collection at the moment because we're just saving everything. Because to take six kids on a holiday is very expensive so we're just save 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 so we can have a fantastic holiday so I did have an order of some Little Mermaid pot vinyls that have come in um, so I thought I'd show them with you guys today as you all know it is the is it 30 year celebration of the Little Mermaid and they have brought out some pretty awesome pot vinyls I think I've managed to really get the whole set there's just one I'm missing and I did see on Facebook today that a new one has been um, announced and it will be a, what was it, a metallic Ursula with Flotsam and Jetsam. So I think that's a box lunch exclusive. So hopefully Ozzy or somebody will get that here so we can purchase that one to add to our collection. So anyhow, here are the pot vinyls we have purchased. We have Ariel in her sail dress. Very cool pop vinyl. Very cool part of the movie. Then we have Scuttle. Scuttle's very cute. I'm so glad they made a Scuttle. Because I think he's a pretty big part of the movie. I mean, he's always with Flounder and always with Sebastian. Giving his advice. So, I do have Flounder and Sebastian from the first series that came out of these. So, so happy we got Scuttle now. And then we have Chef Louise, another great character. I think this is, my husband said this was his favorite pop vinyl that they've brought out. Very cool segment of the movie. Cheeky chef with a cheeky crab. And he's actually holding a crab. Pretty cute. Okay, then we have Ariel holding her bag where she collects all her treasure. I do also own the original Ariel, number 27. She's up there with my first wave of pop vinyls. And I do own, I've got Diamond Flounder. And I do have the Little Mermaid from the Disney Treasures box. You know, when she's up on the wave singing. Find Your Voice, I think it's called. That's a really cool pop vinyl. Now, there's Ursula. And this is the one that's coming out metallic. So that's really, really cool. I'd like to say Ursula is probably my favorite villain from Disney. Um, unfortunately, I don't own the original Ursula. She is way too expensive. I do have an Ursula and Corella two pack. And now I have this one with Flotsam and Jetsam. Very cool. And fingers crossed I will be able to locate the metallic one because I'd really love to own the metallic one. What an evil grin. Her makeup just looks awesome. Oh, she's a cool villain. Very, very, very cool villain. And then we have none other but Prince Eric. Yeah, he's cool. I'm so happy they're making the princes. And what about the discussion of this Little Mermaid live action? I'm interested to see what this young lady's going to be like with Ariel giving her a chance. I hope she does a really good job. I hope somehow they incorporate some redness in her hair because I think that's the only thing that is holding me a bit back from the new girl they've cast. Um, I don't know, the iconic red locks of Ariel. I hope they have some kind of redness in her hair. That would be brilliant. And I must say, I'm quite sad that Harry Styles is not playing Prince Eric. I personally think he would have made it a good Prince Eric. Um, Interesting to see who they're going to cast now, but there was a lot of bad um, posts on Facebook about Prince uh, about the Harry Styles. But I know I think he would have made a really good Prince Eric. I mean, Prince Eric is meant to be what uh, 
around 18 to 21 years old. Um, Ariel's meant to be about 16. So I think he could have pulled that off. I know a lot of people want, um, I've seen some really silly John Stamos. was one I saw and I thought, oh no, he can't play it. A lot of people want older, really older men, but Prince Eric is meant to be like a young adult. He's not meant to be like a mature aged man. So waiting to see who they cast and hopefully he does us all justice. So there's Prince Eric. And now we have Ariel. Now I like this Ariel pop. Now I have some people who said they don't even remember this scene from the movie, but this is at the very end when, you know, she comes out of the water and she's, her dress is like sparkling. Very cool. This one could have been glittered. That would have been very cool. But anyhow, it's a good pop. So I'm really happy to have this one. Okay, I have two more pop vinyls left that I've purchased from the 30th anniversary. And I will probably take these ones out of the box to show you a little better. So the first one we have is King Triton. I was so excited, unbelievably excited when I heard that this one was coming out. And I, I ordered it as soon as I was able to. Such a cool pop. I'm so glad they've made him. It's going to make our Little Mermaid display pretty much complete now. So let's get him out of the box. Wow. And I do think he is one that is going to look a lot nicer displayed out of the box. Now, if I had the room to display my pops out of the box, I would do so. I just don't have the room. I have to be able to like stack them up in front of each other at the moment because I've got so many of them. But anyhow, I do think this is one that would look fantastic out of the box. He's an awesome piece. Love his gold crown. His trident, his gold trout cuffs. The wave behind him is unreal. That is a super cool pop vinyl. Thank you Funko for releasing that one. Awesome as. Now, the next one I have, well the last one I have, is the movie moment. The Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl. Wow. This is an awesome, awesome movie moment also. Very cool. So much detail in this one. Let's get it out of the box. Okay, look at that. Okay, so we've got like a almost like blue um, translucent base. And you've got lily pads, you've got all the fish, including flounder, squirt in the water. You've got all the reeds, the Sebastian on a rock. And then you've got none other than Prince Eric and Ariel ready to kiss in the boat. That's an awesome, awesome pop. I love that one so, so much. Great for display. It's gonna look awesome out of the box. This one will have to be displayed out of the box because you can't see it properly in the box, so it has to come out. Look at a bow, look at a pretty bow. So cool, the detail is phenomenal. Brilliant. So, they're the new pop vinyls I have for The Little Mermaid. I do need to get, which I will get, as soon as we come back from our holiday, I will be purchasing the giant Ursula. That's awesome. There's a glow one, I think, as well. I have to get it. Um, I've got a few of the giant pop vinyls. And I need to get Jack-Jack and Mickey. But I do have um, Scrooge and we have um, from Jurassic World. We've got the dinosaur, the T-Rex. Um, yeah, but I have to get Ursula. Can't wait to add that one to our collection. And then I think I'll pretty much have all the Little Mermaid pop vinyls that have been released. Minus the original Ursula which I doubt I'll ever get because the price just skyrockets. So anyway, people, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed my video on my awesome Little Mermaid pop vinyls for the 30th anniversary. Um, hope to get some more soon, um, especially for the 30. There's a lot of shirts and bags and stuff out, so I do really want to get some of that stuff. Um, but yeah, like I said, won't be as many videos at the moment because we are planning on going to Surface Paradise. Um, I know Andrew and the children are mighty excited because Warner Brothers obviously do Harry Potter or Andrew's DC stuff, Looney Tunes. Not my cup of tea really, but the merchandise is there for them. So I'm sure we'll have plenty of videos 
Um, we just bought a, a GoPro so we can take some footage on all the um, thrill rides. The new hypercoaster is meant to be awesome. So stay tuned for those videos coming um, when we go on holiday. So thanks for watching guys and until next time, happy collecting and see you later. Bye!